So you might be trying to figure out how you can use Meta AI. Now, luckily for you, it's a very, very basic process, but there's a few different ways to do it. If you use any Meta applications, things like Facebook, Instagram, you know, WhatsApp, those particular applications have Meta AI built in as long as you're up to date. So update the software on those particular applications within the App Store. And then what you can do is you can click on the search bar at the bottom and you should be able to go and find the search bar up here. And if it says something like ask Meta AI any question, then you should be able to go through and just use Meta AI built in inside of these particular applications. But if for some reason it's missing, like how for me it's missing right now, well, what you can do is you can make your way over to your internet browser and you can just go to meta.ai, literally this website right here, and you can use basically the same exact Meta AI that anyone else can use. So at the top left, it'll just give you this little prompt box which shows you some you know things that you've done, I guess. You can also log into your particular thing. You can start a new conversation, you can imagine it. It's basically just like a uh, chat GPT kind of thing. On the top right, you can click on this box to just start a prompt. So if you click right here, you should be able to start a prompt. And this gives you some examples of things you can basically ask it to. So in this case, let's see. If we go and click Ask Meta AI Anything, if we go and ask it, you know, this question, what is 10 plus 10? We can see it's going to start giving us some responses. I don't even know if we have to log in or not. So we can send this and I guess we do have to log in. So let me do that. Or we can even continue without logging in. And you can see I just had to confirm my age and then it can start asking, you know, basically go through and, you know, answer our questions. It can also do images. Now you will have to be logged in to make an image. So I'll go and just log in for that. And then it'll take us back to Meta AI and we can ask it to, you know, generate images too inside of Meta AI as well. And this is an example of it made. So I said, make an image of a cat inside of a truck and it actually did it and it does a good job. Now I can see, you know, of a blue truck. Let's see what happens or like a red truck. Let's see what color if it changes it. And you can see it does actually change it, which is actually pretty insane. And you can just keep kind of doing this over and over and over again with a ton of different prompts and it will actually do it. So I think it's pretty good. I think it's a really, really decent application to use. You can go and send it out and it'll you know, give you some options to choose from here. So it, whenever it shows that, that means it's basically working on the prompt. And then that's basically that. You can click on the bottom right corner too if you want to ask it more things or you can wait till these things generate. Whenever these things are moving like this, that means it's basically working on something. And that is basically how you use it. You click on the top right button if you want to just delete everything that you were just working on and you want to go back into the previous model. But that is basically it. And at the very bottom, you can go and, you know, try newer models as well. So you can try the current model or you can do the, you know, Meta Llama as well, the newer generation. So you have a couple of different options, but at the core, that's basically how you use it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, soldier.